Hello, hello everybody. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I want to talk about self-care because this is something that has become very um, prevalent in my week. So I had totally fallen off the self-care bandwagon, which happens, totally happens to all of us. Um, it's kind of funny when we know that we're supposed to do something, we don't do it. So I just want to share, I'm going to start sharing um, like kind of that journey on getting back on track and hopefully some of it can be helpful. So I want to share some things that I've done um, to kind of remind myself to be taking care of myself, especially during this time. I know like a lot of us are going through different kinds of stresses. Um, so yeah, I think it's still important that actually really now more than ever is the time to be taking care of ourselves. So yeah. So some things that I'm doing. Um, okay, so I have designed a morning routine so this makes me super excited to wake up. <clears throat> I've been meditating every day. I'm going to talk about why this has been really important uh, for me and why it's kind of important for a lot of people. I've gotten super organized in my life. I realized there was like a lot of things that I was doing that was just really inefficient, like whether it was with my time and things like that. Um, I also really had to evaluate like what hours were best for my body to be waking up and sleeping and things like that. And that has made a huge difference on my mood, my positivity. Um, and then lastly, I, hi, now we have Mew Mew. Uh, and then lastly, I created um, a night routine. So it's something to help me wind down. So for the morning routine, why I think this is so important and why this can help you. So a morning routine is going to, it's like you deciding how you're gonna start your day. And really with a morning routine, you just wanna, it's gonna be time carved out just for you. So depending on who you are, I'm a parent. So sometimes maybe I have like, I get like from five to minutes to an hour. I don't know, you know, it just depends on whenever a little one wakes up. So, um, but make sure that you are carving out that time. Um, so, you know, if you do have an hour, take an hour. You know, if you have an hour or 30 minutes before, whatever it is that you're going to be doing if you're actually going to a job or if you're just at home or if you're working from home whatever that is look at what time works best for you so you know this also kind of plays into figuring out what time is best for you to be waking up i could say maybe my time best for me to be waking up could be like 10 a.m i'm just kidding no it's not um so yeah the importance of a morning routine is really you're deciding how you're going to start your day and you're filling it with things that you like to do. So for example, for me, that's usually, I do a, med a guided meditation in the morning. I love them. I, I usually just look for them on YouTube. So I'm actually going to, uh, I'll put my playlist for guided meditation, whatever meditations I have is public. So if you guys, I don't know, these are just ones that I've saved that I've liked enough that I saved them onto a playlist. So if you're looking for some kind of guided meditation, talk about meditation in a second, but I usually do like a guided meditation. Um, I might do some journaling, uh, reading a book, making some coffee, some things like that, Just but just making sure that I'm having that time in the morning to really decide, okay, this is my time for me and um, this is what I'm gonna do with it. So it's really something that I get to look forward to. So before I jump into anything, whether it's making breakfast for my daughter or getting her ready or starting to work, it's, it's I've already had that time for me. So that's hugely helpful. And I think that it makes you feel good. So I've noticed a huge difference just from that, just from that alone. So the second one I mentioned was meditation. So meditation, it's either, <laughs> I have a hard time like sitting and just meditating in silence. So I like to do, I like to do guided meditations. Um, meditation has been really important to me, which I've been doing in the morning when I first wake up and then at night, right before I go to sleep, I have noticed a huge difference in my mood my, um, my, <laughs> like my energy, my energy levels, my mood, my outlook on life, my positivity, my perspective. Um, so why that's super powerful. Meditation is really powerful for that because if you do that right when you first wake up, um, again, you're setting that tone for your day. For me, it's like a time where I can before my mind starts racing into whatever I need to get done and whatever, anything, you know, our minds are always uh, chit-chatting, chit you know, we're always chattering, right? So it's it's good. It can actually, before my mind starts getting, getting going for the day, it helps me practice to slow down, be present, 
And for me, it really, really further prepares me for my day. I feel, I don't know, I, I'm just trying to, it's hard to explain. I feel amazing. Uh, I feel like I've washed away whatever from the day before, which is actually why I also do meditations at night, just to kind of help me like wash away whatever happened during the day too, good or bad, whatever, just spending that time being present. Um, and I usually have a more positive out, outlook about what's to come. Maybe I know kind of what I have on schedule for my day, but when I do meditation, it kind of reminds me that my I have creative creativity in what I do with my life. And, you know, I'm able to um, play an active role in what my life looks like, which I've been doing. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's why meditation, I think, in the morning is hugely important. And then again, at night, I do it as well because it helps me kind of release whatever from the day. And, you know, you can, if you, if you do prefer the guided meditations, um, you know, I like to look up ones, you can look up ones on anything like positive, guided meditation for positive energy, for abundance, for relaxing, for stress. So, I mean, there's just endless options um, that you can look up and do that'll help you with whatever you're wanting to work on. Or if you just do like to sit in a more silent state, then, you know, you always have that option as well. Uh, I also like binaural beats meditations, or it's like if you YouTube binaural beats, it's um, they're different like sound waves, so they can help you kind of get into that state as well. So, and then the other thing I did was I got my life more organized. I realized, you know, maybe there's some things that you're doing right now that aren't that efficient. I realized I was kind of like really disorganized in what we were eating during the week and like how much I was cooking. And it was just, I don't know how to explain it. It was just very disorganized. So... I made a meal plan for the week, like, okay, we're going to have this, this, and that. rather than just buying random food and knowing that we're going to eat it during the week, it's like, okay, I made an actual plan, um, which was made a huge help. And actually, it makes me really look forward into what I'm cooking and what I'm doing rather than just throwing things together. Um, I've just gotten, yeah, I'm organized with my time. I know that, okay, I clean the kitchen before bed, going to clean it in the morning before I jump, do work or anything too. And so, yeah, that'll just depend on you. So figure out like what's What's not working for you right now? Where can you get more organized in your life? And then start to actually organize that. That'll make you feel really good, probably. And okay, so, and then one of the other things I did was I figured out what, like, what hours of the day were working for my body. Like, for me to be sleeping, for me to be awake, for me to be working, for me to be doing things. Um, whatever I was doing before wasn't working. Sometimes I was staying up too late, whether I, sometimes I was staying up too late working. I tried waking up super early to work and then I realized what the heck I actually need to do neither of that because it's not helping. <laughs> and I've kind of realized, you know, okay, I need to go to bed when my body's tired and it's time for bed. And then my body wakes up when it, when it's ready to wake up. So that has actually made a huge difference. I've had way more energy in my day. I haven't, I don't feel like I've been forcing my body into, um, into some pattern that it's not, that it doesn't like, you know, each of our bodies are different. So, um, yes. So listen to your body, see what like sleep and wake up times are best for you and just try to feel that out and try out some different ones, see what works out. I mean, I, I read something you essentially should never really need an alarm clock if you're going to sleep and waking up at the time that's best for your body, unless you have something to do very early. <laughs> And then the last thing I did was my night routine. So that's another thing that I really look forward to and I would highly recommend doing for yourself. You know, a lot of times we just finish our day, maybe we hop into bed, we scroll on our phones and we go to sleep or we end up on our phones way longer than we expected or while we're watching Netflix or whatever it is. So I would just encourage you to create some kind of a nightly routine as well. Um, and fill that up with whatever you'd like to do. You know, activities that wind you down. So for me, I like to go have a nice shower, um, put on something inspirational, maybe light my candle, light my sage. Um, and then I do like, you know, maybe read my book or journal. But if not, if I'm too tired, then I will put in like a kind of a nighttime uh, meditation to go to sleep. So those are my tips. That's kind of what I've started. Um, and I do notice a difference with it. So I just wanted to share and I'm going to keep sharing and let you all know. And yeah, so if, if these are just little things that you can already start doing right now, you know, you don't need to um, go quit your jobs or, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, you know, these things are things that you can do now. And with these things, you're going to start feeling more inspired. You're going to start taking more uh, control of your life, of your emotions, you know, because we control how we feel each day. And these things will help you decide how you're going to feel each day. 
and we can talk about that in another video. <laughs> Alrighty, that is it. I'm, I am, see, I'm inspired. It's morning. I'm inspired. I did my morning routine. I've been doing my stuff and I'm feeling good. So try it out. Let me know how it goes. Put something in the comments. Um, try it out and just see what happens. Bye.